Somebody, somebody, somebody good. It'll be somebody credible like we don't. Joe doesn't take easy fights, so we'll we'll see. I mean, who who, who knows what the what the future may have had been tagged in on oh, Luis Ortiz and that. Who knows? Do you think an offer will be made to Luis Ortiz, perhaps? I don't know. We'll have to sit down and talk with talk with Frank and and, and see. But as I say, give the fans what they what kind of fights they want to see. But we'll we'll, we'll see. Whatever's best for Joe, we'll we'll do at this stage, you know. Those are the words once again of Sam Jones as he name dropped Luis Ortiz as a possible opponent for Joe Joyce. Now, if you guys don't know the backstory of Joe Joyce and Luis Ortiz, these guys faced off against each other as a possible, as a possible fight back in 2018. Um, I do remember both of those guys on the undercard of Wilder Fury 1 back in December of 18 and they were trying to match that fight up Joe Joyce wanted that fight I think he believed in himself enough at that time he might have been like 10 uh, 10 and 0 at the time and he took on a novice fighter he got him out very quickly um, I think Luis Ortiz took on Christian Hammer I believe um, in his fight on that undercard and those guys were set on a collision. What happened, Luis Ortiz um, was notified that Joe Joyce called him out. Luis Ortiz immediately responded and said, yeah, I will fight you, but guess what? You will lose your O, and that's that. <laughs> if you fight me, you will lose, but I'm ready for the challenge. And his trainer at the time, Abel Sanchez, shut that down, okay? And Joe Joyce no longer mentioned Luis Ortiz or anybody of Team Joyce since, well, since now. Sam Jones has now came forth and said that, hey, a fight between Luis Ortiz is a possible but if you noticed, he was like, let me let you guys listen again. <laughs> the difficult thing for you and Adam here and Frank is what kind of opponent are we looking at? Though? It'll be somebody, somebody, somebody good. It'll be somebody credible like we don't. Joe doesn't take easy fights. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, who, who, who knows what the, what the future may have been tagged in on, oh, Luis Ortiz and that, but who knows? Do you think an offer will be made to Luis Ortiz perhaps? I don't know. We'll have to sit down and talk with talk with Frank and, and, and see. But as I say, give the fans what they. <laughs> if you seen, if you notice the hesitation in Sam's voice, it was a hesitation of uncertainty. Uncertainty to me. I don't think he was really like. It was just a name, like I said. He name dropped that name, but again, it was like a, 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 you see that it was a hesitation, and when you do that you're not sure of what you're going to say. If there was no hesitation in fighting someone like Luis Ortiz, old as he is, he's 42 years old right now, he should have done that. And then at this stage, him being 42, there shouldn't have been any hesitation. There should be, hey, I like this fight for Joe Joyce. We definitely will take that fight for Joe Joyce and we'll see what Frank Warren says. That didn't happen. He did say, he mentioned Luis Ortiz, but then he was like, hey, you think that hot fight would actually happen? He hesitated, and then he left it up to Frank Warren. Then he talked about the relevancy of what the fans wanted. <laughs> so it, I, don't, I don't have really too much faith in it. But if Joe Joyce is 35, Luis Ortiz is 42, at some point, you have to take a stance and say, hey, let me fight this guy that my trainer once upon a time stopped me from fighting, and then I obliged. So even if your trainer says, hey, I don't like that fight for this particular person. I mean, Abel Sanchez has said that before, and fights didn't happen. So he does have a legitimacy of power. For example, i.e. Lara versus Golovkin, okay? Ortiz versus Joyce 
um, Freddie Roach, um, Terrence Crawford versus Manny. None of those fights were made for many different reasons, right? For the main reasons, they were very difficult fights. The style was very difficult for their particular fighters, these two coaches that I was referring to. So I feel that um, they should allow that fight to go down if he doesn't take easy choices or easy pickums. I think at this point, he should definitely uh, take on Luis Ortiz. Now, reality tells you that based on what we witnessed Saturday with a stoppage that kind of was kind of weird, early type stoppage, logic tells you that they're gearing for a fight that is not as risky as Luis Ortiz. Say what you want about Ortiz. Say that he's old. Say that he's petrified. Yes, he used to spar with Lennox Lewis back in the day. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this man can't seem to get fights from these guys that's supposed to be the elite heavyweights of today. Facts. And I think they want to keep him on board on the WBO side as a mandatory for Joshua. You don't want to risk that going against someone that you're really not 100% sure that you're going to defeat. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Sam Jones mentioning Luis Ortiz as a possible opponent for Joe Joyce. Next, of course, please subscribe and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.